Nobody's perfect. On that note, we can get started. Um, figured I'd just... When I do restring videos, I'm going to start playing guitar when I roll in, and then I'll play guitar on my way out so you can hear the sound difference. Um, yeah, so today we are... Well, I mean, I should probably start out. Welcome back to another restringing episode on the Compan Show. I'm your man, Compan. Today we are going to be restringing Cream. Um, this is a Dean Stratocaster. I don't know what you would call the body, but it looks like a Fender Strat, kind of, but the headstock's different. Um, I think they would say that's more modern. I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's a cream color. I little backstory, I got this guitar when I was about 17. It was a birthday present. Um, and what you do when you're young is you put stickers and stuff on there. And it's just what I was... It was part of my style and what I did, as you've probably seen on one of the videos with Sid. It's my black fender. It's all stickered out, nail polish all over the neck, blue neck, pink, um, hot pink, pick guard. But, um, yeah, this is the guitar that I'm going to be putting in drop G. And for that, I'm using the Diodario NYXL 1156, just like I did on Sid. Not Sid, Shadow, which you have probably seen if you watched the video before this one. That's where I did the restringing of Shadow with these strings. Um, but, yeah, like I said before, I'm not sponsored by Diodario, but... If I were to recommend any sort of string to get for a bright, aggressive tone, I would say go with the Diodario NYXLs. Um, I'll do a little close-up for you. My hands are shaking and whatnot, but we're going to get right into it. Alright, so first off, again, I'm going to be sitting kind of cockeyed so you can get the guitar in there. And I wanted to first start off by saying I apologize. There's probably a ticking or buzzing noise. My phone is my camera and it is plugged in right now because it was dying. And I want to get this done so I can play with my guitars. And uh, yeah, I need to put new strings on it. So I'm going to start off by taking off the bandana. Um, like I said, the bandana muffles with like some feedback sounds or something like that. I don't know. There's a slight difference you can hear in the sound when you put something on there versus not having something on there. Um, but yeah, I've talked about that in a couple other videos, so I'm not going to try to get too much into that. I'm just going to get started, so yeah. <laughs> skip through there I had a couple issues trying to get the strings in there and whatnot gave me a little bit more of a fight this time um, but yeah now that we're to this point we're gonna tune it up <clears throat> tune it up to a drop G so that's gonna be G D G C F A D G D G C F A yeah um, which is kind of interesting because I feel like that's a little bit off oh that's Still super wobbly. Ooh. I may have to look into some thicker strings than 1156 for drop G. Oh, that might sound kind of sloppy. It's it's a it's a progress of trying to figure out what strings work for what and how thick a string can be versus how low it can be. All right, now so I'm, it's sounds kind of sloppy and it's fairly loose still. It's it's kind of a, I mean, you can always look up on what you want to do, but I tend to just kind of get and then figure out, like, I'll, if I'm looking for a specific string for a specific tune, depending on how low I want to go, I'll look for the thickest string I can find. 
<coughs> and then um, if it's too loose, I will just go up a half step every time and just see. I'll just I'll I'll down tune but move up so it's tighter and figure out what tuning it works best for. Cause drop B was pretty intense with these strings. They work fairly well, I think. But we're going two whole steps down. I think it would be called. I'm not totally sure, but let's let's just get this to where it can be. B B. Give a little stretch. Wow. That's wobbly. I think A is probably going to be the lowest I can go with these strings before it sounds too sloppy. Yeah, it does. It's a weird tuning, that's for sure. But it's I'm only drop tuning it for this one song. Other than that, I think the lowest I'll normally go is probably drop B. Maybe drop A, I don't know. That might be the next tuning I try with this. We're just gonna go for it. sloppy as it is I was expecting it to be way worse but that actually it doesn't sound too bad for being as low as it is I mean you're gonna expect it to be all fucking down there all muddy sounding like all like when you hear it it sounds like a clash of a mess almost but it's still so clear even though it's so sloppy see what I can do what kind of crazy stuff I can think of so uh, yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video as short as it probably ends up being still that way it makes it easier for you to watch through it real quick check it out um, make sure if you enjoy the content so far make sure you hit the subscribe button hit that like button hit the notification bell make sure that that is on so you never miss when I make never miss when I upload a new video there you go um, feel free to leave a comment, let me know what you think, um, what I can do better, lighting, sound-wise, all that good stuff. Um, if you're interested in video games, or you want to see me play guitar, play video games, talk, disc golf, fishing, skateboarding, BMX maybe, I don't know, working out, um, yeah, I've got multiple different types of videos I do, I'm a variety streamer, um, whatever I feel like recording, I'll record. And um, yeah, you can find my Twitch channel at Combat Panda 3003, or you can probably find it on Twitch at the Compan Show. Um, Combat Panda with a K. I should probably make sure that's clear, but there should be a link on my channel or a link in the description below for my YouTube channel. Twitch channel. Goodness gracious, nobody's perfect.
we're going with it. We're keeping it. Um, you can find my Combat Panda 3003 page on Facebook, also by looking up Combat Panda 3003, and that's with a K. Um, yeah, it'll be a picture of me going with my camera and shit. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Be good, be safe, stay out of trouble, keep your stick on the ice, and uh, watch out for the next guitar restream episode, we'll, which will be Franklin. Not Franklin. Frankenstein. Oh my goodness. Let me play you out so I can take a break and get back to it, alright? You guys be good and be safe out there.